Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life. It is Monday, obviously, and it is actually later in the day. I kind of was really busy this morning with work and stuff, so I just didn't really want to start the vlog. Um, but it's almost about to be 7 p.m. And I just came back from a grad shoot. I actually went to UT, um, University of Texas at Austin to do a grad shoot because it is finally grad season. If you guys didn't know, I'm a freelance photographer based in Austin, Texas and a videographer, but mostly photography. And my favorite thing to do is grads. So, so that is where I just came from, but it actually started to rain literally like within the last 10 minutes. Luckily the last location was the fountain. So she was gonna get wet anyway and it honestly didn't look that bad because it was still pretty bright outside so I think we were safe I'm kind of sad though because it's supposed to be raining um, not even tomorrow it's like the next two days like on Wednesday and Thursday so I'm trying to reschedule those girls um, because I have like two back-to-back -back sessions on each day so I'm just like ah, I hate rain but honestly I can't complain because Austin rarely ever rains so hopefully I won't have to do this very often but um, speaking of Austin I know a lot of you guys watch me for my Austin content and I just filmed a Austin um Austin pros and cons with my boyfriend Ryan and he is also leaving to go back home tomorrow because he just like wants to see his family and just go and visit and everything um I couldn't obviously go because I have so many grad shoots scheduled he's gonna be gone for a little bit and so I'm kind of nervous to be alone because if you know me you know that I hate being alone so I'm gonna take the time to try to like appreciate being alone so we will see you guys will be coming with me i'll probably like talk on the vlog quite a bit because i feel like whenever i am alone vlogging is like my favorite thing to do because it makes me feel like i have a friend with me it's kind of weird but like i don't know it's the truth this past weekend we went to dallas and i'm hoping that vlog is already up by the time you see this one um so you can check that out we had such a fun time it was our first time visiting dallas um and ryan's last night in town is tonight so i'm gonna try to have dinner with him i don't know if we'll get like takeout or go somewhere to eat i'm not really sure where he is he's probably playing golf honestly he's like really been into golf i mean for the past year i would say but like now more than ever he is loving just going to play golf um which is great because then he just gets out of the house and i can like focus on my stuff um but yeah so he's at golf right now we're gonna eat soon this weekend kind of threw me off my rocker with the whole calorie counting thing so i think i'm gonna wait till ryan leaves which is tomorrow morning and then i'm gonna go to grocery shopping tomorrow and kind of just like get back in the grind of things because it's really hard when he's not calorie counting and i am you know what i mean but you know what's funny i like didn't really eat that healthy but I also didn't really eat like the worst this weekend but like I don't know I definitely thought I was gonna gain some weight and I looked at the scale and I literally lost a pound but then I'm like thinking okay I was like so thirsty this whole weekend because like all the Dallas water it was kind of like gross. I don't know. It just like wasn't it. So we were like so dehydrated this whole weekend. So maybe that's why I like lost a pound because I usually drink so much water and today I was like so thirsty. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, but today I drank so much water because I feel like I was just like dehydrated from the weekend. So that is the update for now. It's just like really groggy weather out there and I'm just like not really looking forward to a week of that. I think tomorrow's supposed to be sunny though. So hopefully everything clears up. Currently watching some vlogs. I'm watching Taylor King's vlog and she She's like the assistant to Alicia Marie, which is like a huge YouTuber. And she's just like so inspiring because she does so much. She's an influencer herself. She does like obviously the work with Alicia. She like works out, like she does it all. She has time for everything. And it's just crazy to me because like, I feel like I'm in the same boat where I'm just like kind of have a lot going on but i just don't know really how to manage my time like i really need to get better at that because i feel like i always have stuff on my to-do list that i just never get done and i just need to get better about that so right now i'm gonna do something that i've said i was gonna do for a while now um i'm doing a recruitment video for one of the stories at ut i'm actually doing two stories but i only started on one um and we did like a whole filming weekend so i'm gonna go through three hours and 30 minutes of footage and cut it down shall be interesting Luckily, I don't really need to hear what they're saying. Like, I just need to, like, pick out some cute clips and, like, chop them up. So I'm going to continue to watch my vlogs. Um, but, yeah, this is going to take a really long time. Um, but, you know, it's good that I got this much footage because hopefully we won't have to do um, much other filming since I got, like, three hours of footage. So I feel like that's a lot. Um, but Ryan is golfing. 
it has been confirmed i just called him i was like i'm literally starving where are you but i just had two rice cakes so trying to like hold myself over hi 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 how was your show that was good how was golf uh put child 46 in the front nine whatever that means is that good uh, it's like right around the low 90s which is not bad that's good not my best we decided on Bowed Up. It actually just opened up on Riverside. We've had it in uh, Mueller, I think, mm -hmm. and it's just so yummy. But Pokeworks is right next to it, and it's also calling my name. It is Tuesday and my hair is still damp from my workout this morning, which is really gross. Um, I was gonna get ready today, but I don't even know if I really want to. I feel like every day I'm just like, okay, I need to be ready by 10 so that I can like do some content after work and everything. But then it gets to 12 and I'm like so busy doing obviously my job. And I'm just like, I don't have time to like put on makeup and then it gets to like two and three. And then I'm just like, why put on makeup right now? It's so annoying of me. I should just like really put on makeup like during my lunch break, but I also haven't really eaten today. Um, and that's okay because sometimes I'm just like, well, I'm intermittent fasting without even like knowing I am. Um, but I also don't know what to eat because I do need to go grocery shopping tonight. I have another grad session tonight, so I'll probably just go after I come home from UT's campus. Um, but I just got off of a call actually with someone from UT. Um, she was just like interviewing me for a college project something about like creating a video editing platform so i thought that was actually really interesting and now i have a call with someone from um a property that i might be going to take photos and videos at so i'm gonna go get on that it is currently 11 20. okay so i just got off the team's call with the property and basically it was just like kind of like a preliminary call because they wanted me to come for videos and photos and everything like that. So I just kind of wanted to go over what exactly they want. I am freaking starving and I actually had a whole thing of spinach in my fridge. So I'm gonna make my spinach and eggs. I actually haven't had this in a while. I literally made it in like every vlog for a long time. But yeah, I haven't had this in a while. So I think I'm gonna do this and most likely make a smoothie because I feel like that sounds good. And I have like a lot of random milks in my fridge. Like I have soy milk, I have oat milk, I have regular lactose-free milk. Like, I don't know, don't ask me why. <laughs> I think I just need to make a smoothie. So let's do it. In one of my last vlogs, I showed you guys the Vitamix that I recently got. I think it's the E3500, but I'll link it down below just in case like I don't have the model right. But this is what it looks like. We have all these settings and then you can like make your own setting. It's really cool. This is what came with it. And then I actually got this attachment and like a smaller little like sauce kind of cup. But I actually prefer this one, even if I'm making a single serving because it just blends better. I don't know what about it, but it just does. And it's kind of annoying because obviously this would be nicer so I don't have to waste another cup. I put something new in my eggs. This is just salami, sliced salami. Add protein, you know, why not? All right, now time to eat, I'm freaking hungry. I just clocked out for my lunch break and now I need to clean my closet. This is disgusting. You guys are gonna judge me so hard, but I mean, it's not disgusting. There's just shit everywhere. I don't know why. Well, I just came back from Dallas, so I have my um, suitcase laying on the floor with everything just sprawled out of it. I think I was like trying to get my makeup the other day. This is what my closet floor looks like. Don't know how I got like this. Today on my Instagram, I'm posting a giveaway with Briogeo and I have yet to take one of my photos. I have the first photo, it's just gonna be like a selfie with my hair all nice, but the second photo is supposed to be like a product shot. 
um, obviously just like what I'm gonna be giving away. So I'm setting up these replica surfaces. If you guys are a photographer, you may have heard of them, but I dropped like a buttload of money on these during quarantine because I thought I was really wanting to get into product photography, but it was literally just like, what, a three day phase of mine. And it was so stupid that I like bought all of these at once, but I just like, am so impulsive when it comes to shit like that. Um, I mean, obviously these are very helpful in certain situations, but I don't think I should have bought so many at the same time because I rarely use them. Um, but they are really great for product photography. I just set it up and what's great about these is that you can just like wipe anything off. So they're really great for like food photography. If you guys have a food Instagram, make food at home, all that kind of stuff. It's honestly just like a fun thing to have. It is very expensive, especially if you don't use it very often, but um, definitely comes in handy for times like this. So I'm going to go get those products and I'm going to face it towards the sun. I'm giving away the whole Don't Despair Repair Briogeo collection. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go do it now because I definitely want to do more giveaways in the future. Um, and I want to plan one, like a big one for my YouTube channel. So maybe in the comments, let me know what you'd want to see me give away. Um, cause I don't know, like, I feel like a lot of people want that Dyson Airwrap thing, but I feel like that's a little too expensive. So something like a little cheaper than that, but I do want to go pretty big. Like I want to do like the biggest giveaway I've done so far. So we will see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's going to be very zoomed in and you won't be able to see those blue things. Um, and then also, I feel like there's a bit of a shadow. So I'm just going to take this other one and kind of create like a bounce board sort of thing. Let's see what's going to help it. I just had it a second ago. You kind of have to like play around with it. I think it's right there. It is almost 5 p.m. and I actually ended up taking a nap after I clocked out of work. I didn't even wake up as early as I usually do. Um, I think I woke up at like 6.50 and usually I wake up at like 5.50. So I'm like, why was I more tired today? Um, but maybe it was because I didn't really have that much human interaction since Ryan was not here. Um, but I do need to get outside of my house because I feel like after a nap I get in like this weird funk and it's just not a good thing for me. So I need to get some kind of human interaction even if like people aren't talking to me and just like being around people. I'm literally like crazy like that. Um, but it's okay, we're gonna figure all this out. We're gonna figure out how to be alone. I also desperately need groceries and it's so just therapeutic to just walk through the aisles and just like see what else is new there, especially cause I'm trying to do like the low calorie thing. It's fun if you find like a cool snack that you can eat. So I'm gonna go do that. I actually just uh, talked to my sister for, I don't even know how long it was. And my friend Kaylin just called me cause I called her yesterday. Um, so I think she's gonna call me back. So maybe I'll just, bring like my airpods so i can like talk and grocery shop i feel like that just sounds like so fun to me <laughs> I'm on FaceTime with the bestie, Laura. Hey, Comment if you have watched ever since our UCF vlogs. Oh my God, TBT. TBT, the one we found a hundred cockroaches in our place and Laura would like oh scream <laughs> and I would oh, kill TBT them. The yeah, we lived at the marquee at UCF for two years. Roomies. I'm gonna enjoy this cauliflower pizza, California pizza kitchen. Got my ice here. And gonna go FaceTime Laura some more. I would just like to say that life is too short. Very Always deep. do what you love. Wow, it's very relatable, thank you. <laughs> it is Wednesday and my hair is crazy. I just brushed it out and I never really styled it. Um, I washed my hair on Monday and I didn't style it, so I am going to style it today. But first I have to like dry my hair. It's kind of gross because it's literally just sweat, but it feels so good putting your blow dryer on the cool setting and going through your hair and drying it. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Usually I don't do this next step, but my hair is looking really just brittle at the ends because, you know, I dyed my hair and I'm definitely due for a haircut, but I don't wanna get a haircut because I want my hair to grow, which I know getting your hair cut will help it grow, but I don't know, it's just like a weird thing. So I need to get it cut soon, but I'm gonna use some Playa hair oil and just put that through the ends and only through the ends and like really lightly, nothing too crazy. 
feel like it already looks better. <laughs> okay. Every time I've been curling my hair, I've been using this wand, which is really thick, and I've actually been using the clamp, like, and creating some beach wigs, which are really pretty, but today, I kind of want my hair to be, like, more curly, because I feel like the beach waves just fall really quick, which sometimes is really pretty for, like, an effortless look, but today, I'm going to try out this one. I feel like I always go back to this one. It's so cheap, I think. I don't even know if they sell it anymore. It's so old. I got it at, like, Walmart when I was, like, so young, um, but I'm just going to let that heat up, and then we'll curl my hair. The hair turned out like super freaking curly, but honestly, like it's gonna fall throughout the day and I might brush through it. I haven't even done that yet. <laughs> it's definitely gonna look a little bit better when I put on makeup. Um, it is 9.22 and I'm starting to get a little hungry. And yesterday, I think I like took a nap. I don't know if I told you guys, but I did take a nap yesterday. And sometimes I feel like I don't like eat enough like in the morning, like that was my breakfast and lunch. And I feel like that wasn't like enough fuel for my body. So I think I need to start eating breakfast and like not really caring about intermittent fasting just because I feel like that's just better for me so I am thinking I'm just gonna do like a yogurt and some granola and also while we're here I did want to share a couple of new things that I got from the grocery store I was on FaceTime with Laura for so long last night so I did not show you guys what I got but I will do it now so let's start with these things and I actually tried it on FaceTime with Laura. These are the Keto Cookie Dough Bites from Enlightened. You can have 24 pieces and it's 90 calories. I tried it and I was like really interesting. Don't think I would purchase it again, but I will like actually eat these. I don't know, it could change. Like it, I think it might be an acquired taste and it definitely tastes like something that I know of. I just couldn't put my like finger on it. So maybe next time I try it, I'll let you guys know. I've actually seen this in the grocery store quite a bit and I have always walked past it. But then Sammy Clark talks about it in her What I Eat in a Day. And I was like, okay, if Sammy Clark's talking about it, I should try it out. So she said these are really good. Then I just got a bunch of frozen foods because those are literally like the best thing to eat, especially during lunch if you're like working a full-time job and don't have really much time to cook yourself something or make something. They are so good and they're just like pre-portioned and they actually fill you up and it's low calories. Well, not all frozen foods, obviously. My favorite brands are Adkins, um, Healthy Choice is my favorite, and I can't remember the other ones. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know I am obsessed with the ice drinks, but H-E-B came out with their own dupe for it. Um, so this is Cascade Ice, and so I got a bunch of flavors. These were five for $5, which is so good because I think the ice ones were a little bit more expensive. Um, I'm really intrigued by this. Like Jello is really low cal, which is interesting. Um, one cup of these is 70 calories. It's um, mango chamoy, so mango puree and chamoy gelatin. I think like chamoy is like not like spicy, but just like almost like tahini. I'm gonna have to try it and let you know because I'm honestly not sure. And let's see. Oh, I love H-E-B because they have these. This is like my favorite thing in the world, like a shrimp spring roll with peanut sauce. Gotta have the peanut sauce. It makes the biggest difference. And then I was going to eat this yesterday, but I was just like talking to Laura and I was distracted and the pizza sounded good. So I made the pizza, but I was like, oh, I should have just eaten this yesterday because this is, you know, going to go bad quicker, but it's okay. I'll just eat this for dinner. Maybe I'll have this shrimp spring roll for lunch. We'll see. I feel like that might be it for like new and exciting things I found. Like I said yesterday, I just love going to the grocery store and just literally walking through every aisle. Also tonight, my friends are coming over for a little wine night. So I'm going to go to Trader Joe's after work um, and get some wine. There was this one wine me and Ryan got um, for Valentine's Day and it was really, really good. And it's a red wine and I usually don't go for a red wine. So I'm going to get that. I hope it's cheap. I can't remember. It might be like under $10. I'm hoping so. Um, but yeah, I got like a couple of cheeses. Nothing too crazy because not everyone's coming tonight. Um, and I still need to get brie though. I feel like a cheese board is not a cheese board without brie. So I have to go get that at Trader Joe's because I could not find it at H-E-B last night. I got this, another grocery store run. Um, and oh, what the heck? It literally like expired yesterday. It's a good thing I saw it today, what the heck? It was literally frozen, so I didn't think it would even go bad. It says I should thaw it at room temperature for 15 minutes or microwave for 15 seconds. So the granola comes in here and then it's just like an acai bowl. We'll see how this is. I'm kind of curious because that would be like so convenient if this is good. I'm currently watching a TikTok like session. I think it's like a really long one though. I think it goes until like one or something or the whole day, but I finally thawed it out and let's see. Oh, lost a few granolas. Let's see how it tastes. 
really good super good okay i'm gonna add bananas and i feel like this is gonna be perfect it's such a weird feeling being on your computer the whole day and actually getting stuff done but then you still don't feel productive because you're just on the computer and i literally just couldn't name the things i've done but I did edit a video, scheduled it for later today. I'm out of breath because I just took Sophie out and I'm actually gonna bathe her. It honestly doesn't really take that long to bathe her, but I love when I give her like a bougie um, blowout with the Dyson. She hates it, but kind of likes it too, I know. I also totally forgot that when I invite friends over, it means that I have to clean my apartment. So I have to make time for that today because it is actually a pigsty, so. At least I cleaned my closet yesterday though. <laughs> Sophie is bathed and now it's time for my lunch. I'm gonna have some sushi from H-E-B. I just clocked out of work and I'm about to head to Trader Joe's to just pick up like some wine and uh, brie. That's like the only other twos I need. But you know me, I'll probably get some other things like some frozen foods. I should probably clean up before, but I don't really want to. So I'll come home, clean the place, get it ready for my friends. I definitely wanna do a lot of TikToks while I have makeup on. And I honestly feel like I complain about putting on makeup so much, but today I spent like 11 minutes on my makeup, which is not bad at all. So I really just need to like get over it and like do it every day because it makes me feel more confident. I can get more content done. So I just need to do it more often. But anyways, I'm gonna go head to Trader Joe's. Hopefully I find some good stuff. Trader Joe's and I'm honestly proud of myself. I didn't go too crazy with buying stuff because I literally just went to the grocery store yesterday and so I didn't need to but I guess I'll just do like a quick Trader Joe's haul. So this is pork belly. This stuff is so freaking good. Put a little barbecue sauce or like a sweet sauce of some sort. It's delicious. And then I got some mango chunks for smoothies. Got some brie cheese for tonight. Um, I got these frozen cut up bell peppers. This is life changing because I always buy bell peppers and sometimes they go bad. Whenever I go to Trader Joe's, I always pick up two prosciuttos. They're literally $4 each and they actually come with a good amount. And they're probably the best prosciutto I've had from any like grocery store because I tried like Publix's when I was in college because I don't have a Publix now, which is so sad, but um, I tried theirs and it's just like not as good. This one's better and it's cheaper. And then I got this wine right here. I don't even like wine. I don't really even like the taste of alcohol to be honest, but this wine I had with Ryan and it actually was not bad because it like didn't have like that burning feeling that wine sometimes does. Like sometimes when you drink shitty wine, it like immediately gives you a headache and that didn't happen with this one. It is organic, so that may be why. It's called Greenfin Red Table Wine and I literally did not know like what it looked like. So I went up to a Trader Joe's like helper and I was like, okay, can you help me find this wine? I know it's organic, it's red and it, what else did I say? Was that all I said? Oh, and then I said it was like red table wine. And he was like, oh, that's like way more information than I ever get. So yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And I was like, yeah, that's it. I thought it kind of looked a little different, but I'm so glad I found it. It was literally under $5 and it's organic wine, which I think it means that it won't give you a hangover. So I got two because I didn't know if my friends were gonna like bring their own wine. So I will put these away and now it is cleanup time. I was kind of dreading this because I definitely have to like vacuum my whole place too. Um, and I need to put Sophie Pete on one of the bathroom rugs. Sometimes she acts up when like Ryan's gone, which is so annoying. So she peed on one of the rugs this morning when I was at the gym or maybe I was in the shower. I don't even know when it happened, honestly, but I had to wash them. Totally fine though, because they really needed a wash and I needed to vacuum. So it was good timing, but still annoying. Oh. Some of my friends are here. This is Mackenzie. Hello. <laughs> She's a Georgia girl too. Oh wait, we're all, we're all Georgia girls. This is Hannah. Go dogs. <laughs> and she actually went to UGA too. How like what a coincidence? Is I know. That I know. We're, wearing the Atlanta we're like five states away, and we all end up. Yeah. Super freaking all right, weird. I got the wine open. Okay. Well, thank you. That one's like a kind of hard one though. Yeah. Oh, the wine opener. Yeah. You should get my um, electric one. I just. Oh yeah, I'm the rabbit. I, that. I love it. Mm, let's see, I might not be the best at this part. 
where you just made our cheese board and we're gonna say hi. 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 Cheers. We should do a cheers. Let's do it. Cheers to the weekend. Wonderful Wednesdays. Yes. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I'm choosing to the weekend. Wine down Wednesday. Good morning. It is Thursday. It is 8.15 a.m. And I have a morning call in 15 minutes with just like my small team, um, not like the whole creative team. Last night, some of my friends came over for a wine night, which was really nice to just have people around me because I was like pretty much alone the whole day. This morning, I did not want to get out of bed, but I did work out and my hair is just like disgustingly greasy. So I put dry shampoo in it. That's why it's like so like funky and like large right now. But honestly, it doesn't look like horrible. Um, but Friday is my hair washing day. So I'm just like, waiting until tomorrow to do all of that and I curled my hair really nice yesterday and I'm trying to like save it <laughs> as long as I can um, but I am wanting to put on makeup today because I want to take some content um, and then I also have a grad shoot tonight and then I also have one tomorrow I usually don't um, book grads on Fridays through the weekend because last year I did and I feel like I did not have a life and I can't do that again. So I'm only booking grads Monday through Thursdays, but this one was a reschedule because it rained this week. So, so annoying, but all good. So I'm gonna do, um, tomorrow I actually have a branding shoot in the morning because I don't work on Fridays. So I could do a shoot in the morning and then um, a grad shoot later. And then I'm going to dinner with um some of my friends one, one friend that i haven't seen in so long since like november my birthday i'm not sure if i mentioned this yet but my manager put in her two weeks last week and i'm honestly really sad about it because i feel like she's just like such a good manager um i mean it'll be interesting to see who takes her role um and i'm sure they're probably going to be great but i've learned so much from her and i'm just like really sad about it so next wednesday is her last day and i don't even want to think about it but it's okay life goes on. I actually did book a trip to Athens, Georgia to visit the landmark headquarters in May, I think. And my manager actually lives in Athens, obviously, because they're headquartered there. Um, but we're probably going to get dinner. And so I'll at least see her. But it just is sad that like her last day is like over Zoom, not Zoom, but like Teams. We use Teams. Um, but you know, good for her. I was getting hungry and I was like, okay, I need to make something that I actually bought at the grocery store that's going to go bad. So I thought I would make some sweet potato toast and then put like avocado, kind of like an avocado sweet potato toast, I guess. <laughs> and so I just pretty much cut the avocados into like slices of bread and then put olive oil, garlic powder, and what is it called? Himalayan salt. I put them in the air fryer and this is what it looks like. I did 30 minutes at 400 degrees. It is the freaking weekend. I'm hyped. I just painted my nails actually for the first time in so long. I feel like my nails are never bare, but like I just didn't really have time this past week and I didn't even have my nails done in Dallas, which I was kind of sad about because you know, when you go on a trip especially, I should have like gotten them done or something if I didn't have time. But anyways, I have this whole big mess of nail polish shit behind me. But I used a nail polish from Static Nails and I'm so obsessed with how they turned out. This hand is beautiful. This hand could use a little work because not even just like the nail polish being everywhere, but like the shape of them, like two of them chipped. So they're just not as pretty as these like oval shapes, almond, I don't even know. And like both of my thumbs chipped too. I just like hate when my nails chip because I feel like it takes so long for them to grow out. I'm glad I got that done because I have two photos that I need to take for brands that have to do with my nails. <laughs> and I've been like putting off painting my nails for this whole entire time. And I thought I would just go for a neutral because I have to take another photo for another brand. None of this is even paid. It's just like, you know, they gifted it to me and I kind of just like wanted to support the brands and like uh, create content for them. So the other post is for like an Indian outfit and I don't remember the last time I wore an Indian outfit. So I haven't tried it on or anything. I kind of want to do like a whole vlog about it. So I think I'm going to do that on Saturday. I asked my friend Nagin if she needed any photos like taken for her Instagram so we could like swap, you know? And obviously I could take my own photos on a tripod, but I really don't want to um, because I want these ones to be like really high quality on my camera not my phone but I'll definitely be vlogging whenever I do put it on um, and I have a grad shoot at 5 30 so I actually have to leave really soon um, but 
Oh, uh, oh yes, okay. I'm not even sure if I showed this outfit yet in a vlog, but I feel like I haven't, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it again. I got this set off of Amazon, and it is literally the cutest thing ever. There's like a little like, I don't know what this is. I think it's from the dryer messing up like the string, so I need to cut that. Besides this little issue, I feel like the quality is really, really great. It also comes in so many different colors, um, so if you want like more springy look, then they have that. It has pockets. I just think it's really cute and perfect for like lounging at home or working from home. I was like on a, a team's call and usually I look like shit, but like when I was wearing this top, I was like, wow, I actually look somewhat presentable for once. So that was nice. Um, but I'm going to go get my camera bag because I don't like being rushed and like, you know, feeling like I'm going to be late to a photo shoot. I'm back home from my grad shoot. It is 7.45 and I am kind of hungry. I just fed Sophie and I do need to take her out later. I don't know what to make myself for dinner. You know, like when you just go grocery shopping and you're like, okay, this is like overwhelming and you don't know what to cook. Uh, okay, I'm gonna decide that later. My grad today was just so nice. Her parents were there. So I was kind of just like talking the entire time and um, I totally forgot to get some footage. So I'm really sorry about that. Tomorrow I have two shoots, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. Um, so hopefully I'll remember to film those because that would be great if you guys could see that because I know a lot of you want more like photography stuff I just like never know what to post Um, but I am like in the same outfit as before because I literally just like changed back into my PJs loungewear I was like wearing jean shorts. So I was like this is not a move right now Last night I opened a bottle of wine because I thought my friends were gonna drink it, but they ended up bringing their own wine. So now I have like a full bottle of wine left over. So I asked my friend to come over and finish it with me. She's on a date right now, but hopefully she comes over after because that would be really nice. And honestly, it's just nice to have girl time. Like there's never enough girl time in the world, I feel like. I forgot to tell you guys that the avocado toast thing, sweet potato thing, was so freaking good. Like I think I've had something like it before. Um, I think my mom made it with yams, which was also really good, but it was so good. You guys have to try it out. Like I said, literally just slice the sweet potato, put it in the air fryer for 30 minutes at 400 degrees. And honestly, they weren't super crispy. So I have like a bunch of leftovers and I'll just like put it in the air fryer again and make it more crispy next time. But it was still so good. Like the saltiness and like the sweetness just was like, it was just perfect. I'm like a big like salty and sweet girl and sometimes like it's a cycle like if I have chips then I need like something sweet like chocolate but then once I have chocolate I need like the chips you know what I mean so that's where popcorns and M&M come in which honestly I know I'm supposed to be eating healthy and like calorie counting right now but that sounds so good and I have M&M's in the um freezer does anyone else put their M&M's in the freezer I feel like they're so much better maybe not the mini M&M's the mini M&M's are perfect room temperature but like normal M&M's are so good in the freezer and I usually do like Kit Kats and all that in the freezer I don't know maybe I'm just weird but I feel like it's just so much better I don't know this is really the only meat that I got um, at the grocery store this week. Um, some pork chops, so I'm just gonna like put some salt and pepper and just cook them. And then I can have leftovers for tomorrow. It's like so weird, but I love eating pork chops with applesauce. When I was a kid, my mom would bread the pork chops and then I would eat them with applesauce and like green beans, they were so good. I think I'll just do the salt and pepper thing, like I said, and maybe like garlic powder. That is literally like my favorite thing. I swear I put it on everything. So I'm just gonna quickly marinate these pork chops. I have a lot of work to get done today, um, just like editing and stuff, because I want to just get a lot of the stuff done that's in my editing queue because I have two more shoots tomorrow. Like I don't want to be like too overwhelmed and like have it all at one time, you know? So I need to do that, but I feel like I have so much other stuff to do. So we will see. Oh, and all is there oh my god, there's like no pepper in here. Update on the Apple Watch, it has definitely motivated me to have a like more updated apple watch that actually works because the other one it would literally die after like my 30 minute workout and also other update on the 12 3 30 i try to do like a little bit more than 30 minutes and i actually have been like increasing my speed slash incline depending on like how tired i am you know that just burns me more calories and that's why i've been getting up earlier just so i can like get that workout in um you know before the day gets started so then i can just like do whatever else i need to because i swear once i start like working or editing or anything like i just need to be doing that you know what i mean i can't just like stop and like be like oh i gotta work out like no i just need to get it done while i'm on a roll so that's why i have to get it done before i start anything else for the day but i totally get that some people aren't morning people because it is hard getting out of bed Here's my dinner for the night, got my pork chops, applesauce, and I decided to cook some veggies, but like I put so much spinach and there's like none. Freaking crazy how much it shrinks. It's almost 
almost 12 30 i'm back home i just imported the pictures and now it is time to eat i'm actually starving and i had like yogurt and granola this morning and usually i don't even eat till later so i don't know why i'm starving today but i decided i'm gonna make a smoothie and then i was craving that sweet potato avocado toast so i put the sweet potatoes back in the air fryer so they can get really crispy this time um and i think i'm gonna just do like a strawberry banana smoothie because that sounds really good and filling because i'm starving i'm gonna do raspberries because i just saw this in my fridge or freezer whatever <laughs> same thing and do some soy milk, vanilla. I <laughs> it's so hard to get off because I just put it on so tight, but it literally makes you put it on tight. Oh my God. And I just like don't have big hands. So this like is not, that's not helpful. Okay, literally. <laughs> oh, thank God. That, that literally made my hand cramp so bad. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> Maybe I should have just put strawberries in there. It's good. It just like has a lot of the raspberry seeds and everything. So, uh, like too many seeds. <laughs> so the sweet potato is a lot more crispy today, which is amazing. So I'm gonna grab my garlic powder, my Himalayan sea salt, and some red peppers for a little kick. But we're gonna douse it in garlic powder because I love me some garlic. Perfect. And I also love me some salt. I put a little too much salt on a lot of foods, but it just tastes so much better like that. Okay. Pepper. This is so freaking good, y'all. Like, if you have an air fryer, I mean, you could probably even do it in the oven, but if you have an air fryer, definitely try it out. Look how good this looks. I definitely look a little crazy right now because I have my foundation all over me. Um, I've been using this Makeup Forever HD stick recently and I feel like I just always go back to it especially because it's like so fast and you know well what did I just <laughs> it's so fast and it just like is so convenient especially for like work days when I want to put on makeup it makes my makeup routine go by so fast um, and then also I picked up this when I went to that Japanese um, Daiso store and it was like literally four dollars and i'll link down below some similar ones on amazon because i think they're all the same you know but look at how like easily this smooths the foundation into my skin i'm not even sure if you'll be able to tell but it's like so easy and like really good too because i always thought like the brush would soak up all the foundation but it just like pushes it around and makes it so like nicely airbrushed. I don't understand how it works, but I think it's so cool. So this is what I've been doing recently. Um, but I love my beauty blender, but this is just so fast now that I'm like kind of lazy doing my makeup. I'm just like, okay, I'll just do the stick and this brush. It is kind of hard to get around your eyes, so like sometimes I'll use the beauty blender for that and then I'll actually use the beauty blender for my concealer too. Although you could probably still use this, but you know, they have like the smaller ones. Like I didn't buy mine in a set, but I've seen like they have sets and stuff and they have like a smaller one like this and then you can really get into like the corners of your eyes and stuff. But that's okay because I don't really mind using a beauty blender. It's just like that the foundation I feel like takes so long to blend out when you're using like liquid foundation and a beauty blender. I'm finally all ready for the day and I thought we could do a little unboxing on camera. So we'll start off with this package from Waif and they're doing like a 1998 collection. The first one is this kind of like windbreaker kind of thing. Super cool. It says, where are you from? That's the brand. Next up is this nude bodysuit. I love their bodysuits. I have another one that's like, has like cups around the boob area. It kind of reminds me of like something you would wear in Tulum with like linen pants. So that's super cute. Can't wait to try all this on. Um, and then this one is very like, I don't even know if this is my style, but I thought it'd be cool to try out. Um, it's like this 
polo kind of shirt and it's neutral of course they're honestly killing it with all of their collections um and then this is the last one this goes with the polo actually and they're just these flare pants and they're gonna be so comfortable and i feel like i'm just gonna live in these next up i got some things from pedal and pop and i've heard about this brand from so many influencers and so i'm so excited to be working with them i'm just gonna do like some instagram story stuff and probably like some feed posts so that's gonna be exciting let's check out what i got okay so Here's a pop of color, finally. <laughs> I saw this dress and I was like really intrigued by it. It's very simple, but I thought it would be the perfect summer dress for like, you know, after the pool or something like that. I don't know, I just think it's really cute. It's probably gonna be very wrinkly right now, but it's honestly kind of like a kitchen smock thing. I don't even know, but this is the back. It's really cute. Open back. So I don't know what bra I'm gonna wear with it. I could just probably wear sticky boobs, but I think it's really pretty color. Love my greens. This next top is stunning and I'm freaking so excited to wear this. Okay, it's pretty much like a very, very crop top, pretty much like a bra kind of shirt, but it has these like flowy sleeves and this balloon sleeve kind of deal. Super cute. And then the back is like that tie back. So it's kind of like an open back. So I need to figure out like the bra situation with all these, but I'll figure it out. On their site, they actually have so much cute denim. So I actually got two pairs of denim. Can you see the bottom? I can't even see myself, honestly. It's very distressed at the bottom. And I think I saw an influencer actually post this on their story yesterday. And they looked so good. Um, it looked very, very short on the model. Like, almost like a cropped jean. Like a straight leg cropped jean. But I'm a short girl, so I don't know if it's going to look like that. I kind of hope it doesn't because I don't really like super cropped. I mean, it could look cute with heels. And this is the other pair I got. Pretty similar, honestly, because they both have the distressing, but obviously that's a white pair. And the stitching is kind of like a brown stitching, maybe like a gold stitching. So that's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna try this all on for my stories, but I have to clean up the place first because I hate when <laughs> my background is so gross and dirty, especially for my stories. So gotta clean up. So I'm doing a try on haul on my stories, so I thought I would just show you guys what it looked like on the vlog. If you guys miss my stories, or if you're not following me on Instagram, which definitely go do so. Um, but this is this little like pirate top. I don't even know how to explain it. I feel like my boobs are a little bit too big, but if you have like a little tinier boobs than me, like this would be so perfect. And honestly, it doesn't look like horrible. It just like feels a little bit revealing. Um, but these pants are so cute. I love this like color. I feel like I don't have anything like this. And obviously they're really good high-waisted. Love the distress on the bottom. Mm -hmm. 